In a tweet sent out a few hours ago, Tesla CEO Elon Musk thanked the Tesla team for their great work on deliveries. In the tweet, Elon Musk also thanked owners for being accommodating and calls this quarter their toughest in global logistics. Let's find out why. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Tinsai Aregai, Torque News Tesla reporter, has the details of this story. Here's what Elon said. Thanks Tesla team for great work on deliveries. For new owners, we super appreciate accommodating us on delivery timing. Definitely one of our toughest quarters in global logistics. Elon tweeted this afternoon in a tweet, which leaves more questions than answers. Questions because it uh, say it calls this uh, the toughest quarter in global logistics from the beginning you can say that you know um, uh, elon thanks for great work on deliveries that means things are positive but then he calls it toughest quarter so when you think that this quarter was the toughest and then you say great the great work on deliveries this may justify that by how much is this going to be tough and how much is this going to be um, great deliveries we'll find out in several days when the uh, month's results come and tensai, tensai says that it is currently unclear what logistics problems musk is referring to but it is good to hear the team was able to overcome them in in a leaked internal memo just six days ago, Elon Musk has written to Tesla employees saying they have had a shot at risk record deliveries and to have him thanking the team so soon and with four days still remaining to the end of the quarter and the, and the month, this bodes well for Tesla's prospects of hitting record deliveries and achieving profitability. Tesla has also been implementing other tactics to ensure profitability for for this quarter, the company brought back enhanced autopilot for a limited time offering with the option to expire on September 30th, which coincidentally enough is also the end of the quarter. But this wasn't the only move Tesla implemented for the third quarter. The company also offered an acceleration boost for long-range all-wheel drive Tesla Model Y owners. The upgrade comes as an, uh, as an over-the-air update and will cost $2,000 to bring down the 0 to 60 time from 4.8 seconds to 4.3 seconds. Tesla in the first half of the year has delivered a little over 179,000 cars. But despite a, the worldwide virus, the company reiterated its plans to deliver 500,000 vehicles in 2020. This means Tesla will have to deliver a little over 320,000 cars in the last six months of the year. This almost as many cars as the company delivered in the whole of 2019. But Tesla seems up to the task. The company recently installed the world's largest casting machine at its Fremont, California plant and eight giga presses, giga casting machines are waiting to be installed in Tesla Giga Berlin for next year's uh, work. And also we have reported that Tesla has also started using a casting machine in the broadcasting machine and in, uh, installing at Giga Shanghai. Uh, this casting machine equipment reduces parts in the rear of the Model Y from a potential 77 to a single part. I think they're going to start from two parts and then move to single part. This should significantly reduce the complexity and manufacturing time of the Model Y, bring down the cost, lower the weight and increase the range. Therefore, if the weight is lowered. The company has also said it has reached an annualized run rate of 200,000 cars in its Shanghai Gigafactory and if there weren't any unforeseen roadblocks that means close to 50,000 Model 3s have been delivered in this quarter just in China. Um, 
recently our friend uh, uh, Ray who tweets at Ray for Tesla had a uh, short video um, showing a typical day at Shenzhen Tesla delivery center which seems very busy and you can see that video at torquenews.com slash Tesla in uh, a thin size latest story according to another leak starting in late 2020 the company also plans to start shipping the made in China Model 3 uh, to other Asian countries they should ease the logistics problems Elon Musk has mentioned and uh, make it easier for Tesla to deliver to Asian countries from China rather than from um, Fremont California and to the overseas shipment some of the countries named in the leak are Singapore Australia New Zealand um, but the leak also said other Asian countries in Europe due to all the countries named being right-hand drive here we have made the prediction that Tesla will be moving right-hand drive model to production from its Fremont California plant to Shanghai Gigafactory in the battery day event Elon Musk has said long-term Tesla plans to deliver 20 million cars a year that should mean a further 20 times increase in production over the coming years you can see our in-depth breakdown of all the breakthroughs that should enable this goal but for this quarter we shouldn't wait long to know the delivery numbers the company is expected to announce the final count in the first few days of October we will keep you posted at torquenews.com as soon as those numbers come out but until then what do you think will tesla be able to deliver 320,000 cars just in the second half of the year also what do you think are the logistics problems the company faced let us know in your um thoughts down in the comments section below what happened today this uh, afternoon just moments after elon musk uh, tweeted this i posted at uh, torque news uh, ch youtube channel's community page where we always have active discussions and thank you for participating and um, i asked what do you think uh, uh, Elon I means by this tweet and here are some interesting um, insights some of them you said that he is passing in turn that means Tesla passed internal targets Tesla team and uh, like uh, Alexei Chernyshev rep uh, report replied saying torque news I think because they are growing too quick on the demand spectrum and the team met that third quarter with success could be very well and James Carter writes torque news though um, uh, though on global logistics probably because of a uh, tough on global logistics be probably because of the virus distribution global logistics will be heavily impacted large demand throughout all delivery services unusual and unpredictable logistics generally in all industries but 100% that is positive comment by Elon that gives the impression that targets have been met despite global logistics feedback uh, Diego Aduri says growing too fast and specifically um, in this this virus environment sure is a problem this kind of problem you want to get but the problem anyway Veiko Imonen says uh, Tesla passed internal targets uh, he thinks and uh, Sheldon uh, uh, writes saying this was the highest quarter delivery apparently and Argos K says definitely whatever internal targets they had they passed and hard MF says posted early too as there are three days left in September and uh, tips for Tesla YouTube to, uh, user says pick I uh, picking up my car on the very last day of the quarter it was the only appointment available because they are super busy dealing out cars as fast as they can I know some Tesla mobile guys too every time this happens it's generally good news for the quarter end reports yes indeed if that if he wanted to have his Tesla picked up earlier and apparently uh, the last day of the quarter was the only available available time another uh, torque news uh, users uh, torque news uh, channel member says misty vasinik says uh, they delivered um Hendrik Torkitsen says they need uh, more than 140,000 deliveries this quarter and 180,000 next quarter to meet their guidelines um, gui gui guidance and another couple of people are saying boom surpassed the targets by quite a bit uh, so let's see how things go I think Tesla has surpassed some tire uh, um, 
some targets some internal targets and uh, uh, made it very possible to do things uh, despite this logistical problem with uh, the virus let me know what your thoughts are friends uh, what do you think elan's uh, tweet means if you have other opinions in the meantime this is armin harayan from torfnews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and please note that we're hiring we're looking for tesla and electric vehicle reporters to grow Tor news even further so if you have desire we're hiring if you have desire to cover Tesla news, opinions about Tesla developments, as well as electric cars, please contact me using uh, my email, which you can find in the about page of Torque News YouTube channel. I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you and uh, have a wonderful rest of the day, wherever you may be. And peace be with all of you.